For more videos visit for the sake of education.com. Alright guys, let's do this problem that they want you to find the resultant force, its magnitude and its direction. The way we're gonna do this is we're gonna divide uh, these three forces into its uh, x and y components and then we're gonna add them up and we're gonna get the the Cartesian um, vector form of the resultant force and then we're gonna convert it to polar because they want the magnitude and the angle. So we have three forces but they're not labeled so let's label them. This is force one, this is force two, and let's call this one force three. So F1 is equal to 300 towards a positive x-axis plus zero in the y-axis. F2 is equal to 400 cosine of 30 in the i plus 400 sine of 30 in the j because this is the x component and this is the y component and this angle is 30 degrees is given right here so when you calculate this you get that f2 is equal to 346.4i plus 200j so let me put them in rectangles, easier to find. And this is F2. F3 is equal to 250 negative times 4 over 5 in the I plus 250 times 3 over 5 in the J times 4 over 5 for the x and times 3 over 5 for the y. As you can see the x is negative because the positive x-axis is this way. This is the negative x-axis and the y is positive because the positive y is going up. So when you calculate this vector you get that this is negative 200i plus 150j and this is f3. Now FR is calculated by adding the x's together and the y's together. And when you add them up, you're going to get that this is equal to 446.4i plus 350j. Now this is the Cartesian vector of the resultant force. It's basically telling us that the resultant force it's going to be somewhere over here on the x, somewhere over here in the y, so the resultant force is going to be somewhere over there. But what we want to find is the magnitude and we want to find the angle, which is the direction. Usually when they don't tell you um, how they want you to find the angle, in this book I found that it's usually counterclockwise uh, starting on the positive x-axis unless they instruct you to do something different. So to calculate the magnitude of FR, you basically got to get the x component square plus the y component square and square root them, which is this and this. You plug them into here and you're going to get that the magnitude is 567.25. And the angle, let's call it angle data, can be found by doing the tangent inverse of the y component over the x component. This is the y, this is the x. You plug them into this formula and you're going to get that the angle is equal to 38.1 degrees. As you can see by our drawing, it uh, kind of makes sense. This is 30 degrees, the resultant force is a little more. It's always a very useful tool to be able to draw somewhat accurately your results. That way you can say, okay, this more or less makes sense. And if it doesn't make sense of your drawing, you could guess that your answer uh, could possibly be wrong. Anyways, final answer for the magnitude, final answer for the uh, angle. 
please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.